Hello students under the topic vector differentiation we are going to learn about scalar potential In our previous video lectures we have learned about curl of a vector point function and also about an irrotational vector Now here we are going to learn scalar potential where we will be using the concept of irrotational vector also Now a given a vector point function f vector if there exists a scalar point function phi such that f vector is equal to nebula phi then phi is called the scalar potential of f vector so there exists a scalar point function phi and if the if the vector that is the vector point function f vector is equal to nebula phi that is gradient of phi then phi is called the scalar potential of f vector so this phi is said to be the scalar potential so if they ask you to find the scalar potential we have to equate f vector and the gradient of phi and equate the components and we have to find the uh, scalar potential phi in such a case f vector is irrotational since nebula cross f vector is equal to nebula cross of nebula phi and it will be equal to zero vector so therefore whenever uh, we have such a case f vector will also be an irrotational vector and conversely also if ve if f vector is irrotational then there will exist a scalar potential phi such that f vector will be equal to nebula phi so now let us see problems under this topic now here we have a question which says that show that the following vectors are scale are irrotational find their scalar potential so there are various subdivisions so i have taken the first subdivision here f vector is given first of all we have to show that this f vector is irrotational after showing that we have to find the scalar potential for this f vector so in order to show that the given f vector is irrotational we have to show that nebula cross f vector is equal to zero vector so let us prove this now we know that nebula cross f vector is given by so nebula cross f vector is equal to determinant value of i vector here we have do by do x and we have to write the ith component here so 6y xy plus z cube then we have j vector do by do y and then here we have to write the jth component which is 3x square minus z and k vector do by do z and the kth component is 3x z square minus y so first we shall find the determinant value of this so that is equal to i vector multiplied with so we have to block this column block this row so what is this do by do by of 3 x z square minus y minus this into this so do by do z of 3 x square minus z so this is done next we have j vector for which we have to write negative sign for this component we have to put negative to in order to find the determinant so minus j vector so block this column block this row so do by do x of this value so do by do x of 3 x z square minus y minus the next is do by do z of this so do by do z of 6 x y plus z cube and then lastly we have k vector so plus k vector multiplied with so this we have to block and this row we have to block so we will be having this into this minus this into this so do by do x of 3 x square minus z minus this into this do by do y of 6 xy plus z cube so now we shall simplify this further so that will be equal to i vector multiplied with what is do by do y of this term this will become zero we we will have minus 
and the differentiation of y is 1 so we will get minus 1 minus dou by dou z of this term so this will become 0 and the differentiation of minus z with respect to z is minus 1 and it gets multiplied with this minus so minus into minus becomes plus 1 minus j vector multiplied with differentiation of this with respect to x so this will be treated as constant so it becomes 0 and 3 z square are constants the differentiation of x is 1 and so we will get 3 z square minus the, the partial differentiation of this with respect to z so 6 x y will become 0 and the differentiation of z cube is 3 z square and then we have plus k vector multiplied with here we have uh, partial differentiation with respect to x so it will be 6 x so uh, 3 2 sin times is 6 so 6 x this will be 0 so 6 x minus here we have partial difference, differentiation of this with respect to y z cube will become 0 6 x y when we differentiate partially with respect to y differentiation of y is 1 so we will be left out with 6 x so 6 x minus 6 x so if you see all these components have become 0 therefore it's equal to 0 i vector minus 0 j vector plus 0 k vector and obviously that is equal to 0 vector hence we have proved that we have shown that nebula cross given f vector is equal to 0 vector which implies that f vector is irrotational so this concept we already know so first of all in order to prove that it is to in order to find the scalar potential we have to prove that f vector is irrotational so we have proved this one now after this we will find the scalar potential so the next is we have to find the scalar potential as per the definition of scalar potential we know that if f vector is a given vector then there will exist a scalar point function phi in such a way that this f vector will be equal to gra gradient of phi then that f uh, phi is known as the scalar potential so in order to find phi first we have to equate f vector to grade phi so let us write that so f vector is equal to nebula phi but what is nebula phi we know that it is equal to we already know that it is uh, uh, grade is dou by dou x of i vector so nebula phi will be dou phi by dou x i vector plus dou phi by dou y j vector plus dou phi by dou z k vector if you have seen my previous video lectures you will understand why i have written this so nebula phi is equal to this and on the left we have f vector so but what is f vector it is the given vector that is this vector so we will take and write that so if you see i have written the f vector first and equal to so this equal to i have written here so that i can compare easily so i have written the right hand side also now when we compare the left hand side and right hand side we can equate the components that is ith component jth component and kth component so when we see that uh, what is the ith component over here 6 x y plus z cube and here it is dou phi by dou x so dou phi by dou x will be equal to so from this we can write dou phi by dou x to be equal to here the ith component is 6 x y plus z cube so now using this we will find phi so what we will get so from this we will can, we can write this as dou phi is equal to 6 x y plus z cube dou x now integrating on both the sides since it is partially uh, it is done we, we have to inter integrate on the right partially with respect to x alone so all others will be treated as constants so the integration of dou phi is phi and that is equal to now 6 x y when partially integrated with respect to x 6 y will be constant integration for x is x squared by 2 plus z cube will be constant so z cube integration z cube dou x so, so it will be x so uh, plus a uh, constant of integration we can take it as c1 let us mark this as equation 1 and here we can cancel out 2 1 times and 2 3 times so 3 y x square plus z cube x plus c1 now let us find the other one that is let us equate the jth component so equating the jth component what do we get dou phi by dou y 
will be equal to what is the jth component here 3 x square minus z so from this we can write do phi is equal to 3 x square minus z and do y over here now integrating on both the sides so when we integrate on both the sides integration of uh, do phi is phi and that is equal to what is the integral of this 3x square will be treated as constant so we will be having 3x squared y minus z y plus a constant of integration c2 so let us mark this as equation 2 now comparing the kth component what do we get do phi by do z is equal to 3x z square minus y so let us write that so comparing the kth component do phi by do z is equal to 3x z square minus y so from this do phi will be equal to 3x z square minus y do z now integrating on both the sides we get integral of do phi as phi is equal to 3x will be constant with respect to z when we integrate we have z square here so it will be z cube by 3 minus y will be constant so y we will write as it is y do z so integration of do z is z so plus a constant of integration c3 so this can be marked as equation 3 now we shall compare equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 and write a general solution of phi we should not write the repeated terms again for example first what you do you write the first equation as it is so the solution general solution phi will be what is the first equation 3 x square y so 3 y x square it can also be written as 3 x square y plus what do we have the next term as z cube x so i can write it as x z cube so plus x z cube the constant of integration at last we will add together so um so th this is done next you go to the second solution equation 2 now whatever is repeated you do not write again for example 3 x x square y is repeated here so don't write this uh, and then negative z y is a new term it, it doesn't exist here so write this so minus y z we can write so minus y z constant of integration we will add the at the end so next go to the third equation uh, this and this 3 will get cancelled and here if you see we have x z cube we already have x z cube over here so do not write this minus y z that also we have so if you see we have checked all the three equations and whatever is the repeated term we have not written it again the terms which are not repeated we have written in the solution so therefore we got the solution phi and uh, we have to add the constant of integration which is c which is common uh, now therefore this uh, general solution phi that is the scalar potential phi is equal to 3x square y plus xz cube minus yz plus c so i hope you have understood this problem the next two subdivisions are already solved for you. Just have a look at it and you try and check your answer whether you have done it correctly. So now here we have the second subdivision where f vector is given to us. First we have to prove that the given f vector is irrotational for which we have to prove nebula cross f vector is equal to zero vector. So I have written the determinant value. So then I have evaluated the determinant and then I, uh, I found that it is equal to 0 vector. So you just try these steps and check whether your answer is correct. And so nebula cross f vector is equal to 0 vector which proves that f vector is irrotational. Now after proving f vector is irrotational we have to find the scalar potential. For which we have to compare f vector is equal to nebula phi and compare the components wise. So when we compare the components wise dou phi by dou x will be equal to this do phi by do y is equal to this and do phi by do z is equal to this so after comparing i have taken and i have written here so using this and integrating on both the sides i found the value of phi which i have marked as equation one in a similar way comparing y and integrating on both the sides equation two we have obtained and also comparing the third i uh, kth component we have uh, obtained the value of phi which is given in the third equation now we have to compare all the three equations and the terms which are repeated we should not write once again. So first we have to write from equation 1 and then we have to avoid the repeated terms and we have to write the left out terms from equation 2, 1, 3. So this is uh, the scalar potential for the given f vector. 
also the third subdivision is uh, done for you so this is the third subdivision so this is f vector first we have to prove that it is irrotational by proving that nebula cross f vector is equal to zero so uh, we have done we have found the determinant value and we have found that the determinant value is equal to zero vector which implies that f vector is irrotational so after proving that f vector is irrotational we have to find the scalar potential so f vector is equal to nebula phi and we have to compare component wise each uh, components and we have to equate them in order to find the scalar potential phi so each of the components are equated and integrating on both the sides we have got equation one you can patiently check step by step and then by comparing the jth component we have obtained dou phi by dou y to be equal to this and integrating on both the sides we have got the value of phi so here this 2 2 times gets cancelled 3 and 3 gets cancelled and we have got equation 2 and after that dou phi by dou z so is equal to this and integrating on both the sides we have obtained third equation also and uh, sorting out from equation 1 2 and 3 first we write equation 1 as it is then the repeated terms we avoid from equation 2 and whatever is not there in equation 1 we write from equation 2 1 3 and find the scalar potential so therefore the scalar potential of the third subdivision is this so you can just check your answers whether you have done it correctly we will do some more problems under this topic in our next video lecture thank you